As a San Francisco real estate agent, I often get asked about the best places to go in this amazing city. Today, I wanna to share with you the seven best things to do in Golden Gate Park. Golden Gate Park was established in 1870 and is considered one of the largest urban parks in the world, spanning over a thousand acres. So let's get started. The Japanese Tea Garden. The Japanese Tea Garden is a beautiful and peaceful garden that was originally created as a temporary exhibit for the 1894 California Midwinter International Exposition, and it became a permanent attraction in 1895. The garden features traditional Japanese architecture, bridges, waterfalls, koi ponds, and a variety of carefully cultivated plants. Visitors can stroll through the garden and admire the beautiful scenery or stop at the tea house for a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. The garden also offers special events and exhibits throughout the year, such as flower shows and cultural performances. The Japanese tea garden is a popular tourist destination and a must-see for anyone visiting San Francisco. By the way, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in San Francisco, don't forget to reach out to my team to schedule a free consultation. The Day Young Museum. The Day Young Museum is a fine arts museum which was founded in 1895 and its current building was completed in 2005. The museum is known for its modern architecture with a striking copper facade that has oxidized over time to a greenish hue. Visitors can enjoy a variety of exhibits and collections from contemporary art to traditional artifacts and can also also take in the panoramic views of San Francisco from the De Young Tower observation deck. De Young Museum is a cultural gem in the heart of San Francisco and a must-see for art enthusiasts. And by the way, what are some of your favorite things to do in Golden Gate Park? Drop a few of your favorites in the comments below. California Academy of Sciences. The California Academy of Sciences is a world-renowned science museum which was founded in 1853 and its current building, designed by Italian architect Renzo Piano, opened in 2008. The California Academy of Sciences is a unique museum that combines natural history museum, an aquarium, a planetarium, and a rainforest exhibit all under one roof. Visitors can explore the museum's exhibits and collections which feature a wide range of topics from geology to marine life to outer space. The museum also offers interactive exhibits and shows such as a digital planetarium and a live coral reef exhibit. The California Academy of Sciences is a fascinating and educational destination for visitors of all ages and a highlight of any trip to San Francisco. Another really cool thing they have is nightlife on Thursday nights from 6 to 10 p.m., which is a really fun time to go on a date. Stowe Lake. Stowe Lake is a serene and picturesque lake which was created in 1893 and has since become a popular destination for boating, picnicking, and nature walks. Visitors can rent rowboats, paddle boats, or electric boats to explore the lake and take in the beautiful scenery. Stowe Lake is surrounded by lush greenery and wildlife and features several iconic landmarks, such as the Chinese Pavilion and the Strawberry Hill Island, which offers stunning panoramic views of the park and the city skyline. Whether you're looking for a peaceful stroll, a romantic boat ride, or a fun family outing, Stowe Lake is a beautiful and relaxing oasis in the heart of San Francisco. San Francisco Botanical Garden. The San Francisco Botanical Garden is a 55-acre living museum which was established in 1940 and features over 9,000 different kinds of plants from around the world, including rare and endangered species. Visitors can stroll through the garden's 27 different plant collections, which are organized by geographic region, and enjoy the beauty and diversity of the plant world. The garden also offers a variety of events and educational programs, such as guided tours, workshops, and children's activities. Whether you're a botany enthusiast or simply just looking for a peaceful and scenic escape from the city, the San Francisco Botanical Garden is a must-visit destination in San Francisco. If you like this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Shakespeare Garden. The Shakespeare Garden is a charming and tranquil garden which was established in 1928 and is dedicated to the works of William Shakespeare, featuring plants mentioned in his plays and poems. Visitors can stroll through the garden's winding paths and enjoy the fragrant and colorful blooms of the various flowers and plants, such as roses, violets, and lilies. The garden also features a statue of Shakespeare, a sundial, and several benches where visitors can relax and take in the peaceful surroundings. Whether you're a literature lover, a gardener, or simply just looking for a serene and beautiful spot to unwind, the Shakespeare Garden is a hidden gem in San Francisco that is definitely worth a visit. Spreckles Lake. Spreckles Lake is a man-made lake which was created in 1904 as a gift from sugar magnate Klaus Spreckles to the people of San Francisco. The lake is a popular destination for model boating enthusiasts who come to sail their 
intricately crafted model boats on its calm waters. Visitors can enjoy the peaceful scenery of the lake and watch the model boats sail by or even try their hand at controlling a model boat themselves. The lake is surrounded by lush greenery and offers a tranquil escape from the bustling city. Whether you're a model boating enthusiast or simply just looking for a serene and unique experience in Golden Gate Park, Spreckles Lake is a must-visit destination in San Francisco and also has the unique aspect that I fell into this lake when I was about six years old and my grandpa had to pick me up. So there you have it, the best seven things to do in Golden Gate Park. Whether you're a local or a tourist, there's something for everyone in this amazing park. Overall, you don't actually have to do all of these things. Just walking around the park and getting lost and exploring is all you really need and you'll have a great time doing it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.